Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial on how to use Horigen to make multiple scatter plots with uh, linear fits. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a figure of a plot that looks like this, where you have uh, multiple scatter plots and then you can fit them linearly uh, using the line, the regression line. To start with, uh, this is a video that was requested by one of my viewers and uh, she, specific, he or she specifically made a comment on the, uh, under, the con under the comment section requesting for this uh, tutorial. So if you also uh, need me to make any kind of video or you want to do something in origin and you don't know how to do it, you can specifically uh, request for whatsoever you want in the comment section and I will attend to it as soon as possible. All right, let's go straight into it. So right here, I have a, a table containing the data that I want to plot. So this is an hypothetical data. It's not obtained from anywhere. It's just something that I came up with to use as an example. And what do we have? We have the x-axis being the height and uh, the y-axis are going to be countries USA, England, and Australia. So to make this plot, it's just the same thing you would do whenever you want to make a number plot. So you click here to select all the data, and then you go to plot, and then you come to symbol, and then you select the scatter. So origin is pretty smart. It's uh, automatically color code uh, each of the data sets. So like you see here, the black square is representing USA, the red circle is representing England, and the green triangle is representing Australia. So next thing you want to do right now is to make the linear fit. So to make the linear fit, you do it the way we do the normal linear fit as well by selecting the data and then you go to uh to analysis right here and then you go to fit in and then select linear fit in and then uh, uh open dialog if you want to kind of like uh put some form of uh fitting parameters but uh, i don't need to do that i just want to do one simple fitting so i'm going to use the last use that i have anyways when you look at this particular situation you realize that when i click uh, select. I have all the data selected, but meanwhile, I just want to make a linear regression fit for this. So let's let's uh, try to fit it when we have all the data selected. So you can see, origin is pretty smart. It fits everything. But you can fit them individually as well. Um, uh, the choice is yours. Uh, but if you want to fit them all together, Origin fits them uh, all together by fitting the black uh, data, it fits the red data, it fits the green data independently, but do it all at once using the same uh, parameters that has been set for the linear fitting. So you can see here, these are the, this is the result of the feeding. Uh, you have the intercept, you have a slope. We use a no weighting uh, feeding. If you want to use a weighting feeding, maybe based on the, uh, the, uh, standard, the, 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 the uh, standard deviations for each of the data, you can fit based on that, but you have to do that uh, when you go to the analysis to the fit in to the linear feed then you have to open dialog and then you change from no waiting to waiting so uh, more information about the feed you can go back to the book and kind of just uh, look at uh, the feed for the linear and all those things so it has all the information right here for each of the data that was feeding anyways uh, going back uh, this is what we have so, but if you want to fit independently, let's assume that maybe you want to fit the black one with weighting and the red one with no weighting and the green one with weighting. So I will uh, delete this fit, just this 
<clears throat> and uh, yeah, let's just leave this box as it is. So then, uh, if I want to fit this independently, so first thing I'll do is to double click this. So currently, you can see under the group here, you have the dependent uh, 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 option checked. So what that means is that whatsoever that you do to any of the data sets will be replicated in the other ones. So if you're trying to work independently, you have to select uh, independent. And then you can see that when we click on the black data, it only selects the black data. When you click on the red data, it only selects the red data. When you click on the green data, it only selects the green data. That is because we do not group them anymore. They are now independent of one another. Now we can independently fit, for example, the black line and we go to analysis, you go to feeding, you go to linear feed, and then you use last use, which is the one without weighting. <clears throat> so that is the no weighting. Then for the red one, I will, and I, let me change. Okay, I'll come back and do that. So for the red one, I click on the red one. Let's assume that I want to use the weighting option. So then I'll go to analysis and then I'll go to fitting, to linear fitting, and I'm going to open dialog. And then a box like this will pop up. So um, right here, you can go to uh, fit control and uh, um, you can, if, if you have like the standard deviation for the uh, data of uh, is represented by this red circle, you'll be able to choose the error of weighting, maybe as instrumental error or any other option that you that you want. But let's assume that maybe you want to fix the intercepts, uh, so you can fit this intercept as zero or anything you want to fit it at, and then when you click OK, you can see. Uh, that the line for the red one will automatically go through zero. And it's not showing here. I'm going to delete this and show you, uh, make some adjustments to reflect that. So let's go back go to analysis to fit in linear fit, open dialog, and then we're fixing the intercept at zero. And then we go to the fitted cuff to make the line go through zero. And you can see right here. Um, I'm going to select a uh, span full axis to reflect that uh, intercept zero. And right here, you can see that the fit for the, um, um, the red data passed through zero. So when I did that, it did not make any change to the black data. And uh, you can do the same thing for the um, for the green data. But the message I'm trying to pass across here is that when you fit independently, you can f uh, make independent adjustment to the fitting parameter of the data set that you are looking at. But when you fit everything together dependently, the same fitting parameter will be used for all the data sets that you have. Okay? All right. So now let's just go ahead and uh, fit the, the, the green data set. So come here, analysis, fit in, linear fit. So if I use last used, it's going to uh, fit the green data using the same uh, fitting parameter that I use for the red data. But I don't want that. I can go ahead and independently adjust the fitting parameter for that as well. But so what I would do here is that I will not uh, fix the axis, so it's 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 not uh, fix the I will not fit the intercept, so that is fine. The other thing I change is the span of the fitting parameter, so I want to use the full span to the axis, and uh, that is what we have. <clears throat> okay, so you can see that I used kind of like the same fitting parameters to uh, fit for the green and the black 
uh, data set. I did not uh, fix the intercept like I did for the red data set. Okay. So the choice is yours depending on what you want to do. Like uh, in this graph here, I just uh, used the same fitting parameter for the data set and you can see none of them go through the intercept. So I'm just trying to show you um, how you can independently fit your data set uh, or fit them all together all at once. So the other thing I would be doing is to make some um, aesthetic uh, changes to my plots to make them look like what we have here okay you can see this looks better and uh, when you present the data uh, that looks like this it shows uh, professionalism anyways uh, you should uh, be able to get more information on how to do that if you watch my previous videos probably the first video on how to import data into origin and make a plot. I extensively discussed and how you can make uh, all those changes in that uh, video. Uh, but the only thing before I go away that I would change is the color of the lines. You can see that the lines are all red in this case. So I'll make the lines to have the same color as the data set. And just to do that, I'll click, double click this and then I uh, change this to two and change this to black. I'll come to the uh, red. I'll change this to two. And I believe that, uh, let's see, that's for the red. And then for the green, I'll change this to two and change the color to green to match the color of the data set. So that is what we have in here. It's only showing USA as the y-axis but uh, the y-axis is essentially population or say country population and uh, for example in USA when you look at one feet height of course nobody has a height of one feet or uh, I don't know anyways a height of one feet there are 10 people in the usa there are 10 people like kind of 10 people in the three countries but when you come to a height of three feet there are 10 there are 20 people in the usa and there are uh, 10 people in the other two countries so the y-axis is the country population and the x-axis is the height or the height is the x-axis and the number of people that have a corresponding height in each of the countries it's represented on the y-axis and you can read the data from the plot. So um, that is basically uh, what I have to discuss in this video. And uh, eventually I make adjustments to my graph to look like this. So if you want to learn how to do that, you can watch my first uh, tutorial on how to import data into Origin and uh, make a plot. So that would be very helpful if you want to make that, uh, make, make, make your data looks like this. And uh, that is it for this tutorial. And uh, please remember to uh, hit the like button to get the, uh, this particular video to uh, the surface so that uh, whenever people want to find this on YouTube, it will be easier for them to uh, find. And also remember to like, uh, uh, to, to hit the subscribe button so you can subscribe to my channel uh, to receive notification whenever I re release uh, more useful content. All right. Have a great day and see you later. Thank you.